Hi guys and welcome to our next video and today we're going a little bit classical Arcanine taking a sketch until the final development of the map painting and today it's kind of a mountain lodge uh, mountain museum lodge something like that I don't know quite what it is it's kind of conceptual architectural concept art type of development taking that from concept until final production into a map painting and it's really reminiscent of the old days of Arky 9 and especially the map paintings that I used to do a lot and that you guys really enjoy. So without further ado, let's do this. Don't forget you can grab the photo packs, you can grab the brushes and you can grab all the assets as well that we have many along the, the YouTube channel and you can help support the channel as well. So today, a little bit of special news. We are finally opening up the courses. Ooh, cue, cue some music for that. <laughs> but basically we are starting firstly with something small, uh, which is the portfolio review group. So we're going to do a group and we're going to review your portfolios, give you some tips. There is limited access. So you guys sign up now. We've tried to make these as accessible as possible and we look forward to hearing your feedback on those. And please sign up below. All the links are below. We, are going to have a ton of fun. You're going to meet me. You're going to be direct with me. Also some of the Arky9 team and it's going to be very insightful and help you guys really take your images and your profession to the next level if you're trying to find a job, etc. Improve your skills, etc. Okay, moving on. That's enough of plugs. I just want to know uh, how many of you sketch out there? Do you really sketch your designs? Let me know below. I'm very curious about this. Or you just go direct into 3D. Which one do you prefer, sketching or direct to 3D? Let us know below. And uh, yeah, look forward to, to creating this one along with you guys and hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, so here we are, and this time in 3D Studio Max, and this is just kind of the quick layout so you guys can see what we've come up with, what I quickly came up with, um, just while sketching around and kind of trying to get the feeling. So very simple assets in here. I think we have a bit of Quixel Mega Scans on the left and on the right, and just a few forms and shapes. And um, as you guys may know, I'm kind of uh, quite a lover of these uh, these triangular forms and um, whilst developing this I just really wanted to have something that really sits into the mountain and it really kind of um, comes out that well not naturally but really has a striking appeal of like I'm here I'm integrated but not integrated in in some way um, this this idea came a little bit from that Jean Nouvelle building that I saw relatively I think it was Jean Nouvelle relatively recently and it will be uh, showing up on screen one of the best things about uh, the interactive renderer in Corona is I can really see immediately how things look and uh, and really get an idea for what we're going to create. And then I like to just complement that with the painting on top. And we're at my favorite part and as we start to really build into this and paint out the sketch I don't know exactly where I'm going but I really like these moods and we work a lot in the Middle East and I'm really passionate about these moods and I just really love the way the atmosphere and the sun come together and I think this must be like some reminiscent thing from when I was a kid and I used to watch Star Wars, the, mo the movies, so the original trilogy, um, one, two, and three, there's four, five, and six, sorry. And I think it really comes a little bit from there and just how much that blew me away, really. So I like to start always like with the background, just kind of sketching into it, getting a feel for it, understanding how the values of the background and the foreground come together. Like you see in the foreground, we have the raw render. I really like the raw, starting off with a raw render um, sometimes, and it doesn't always have to start off with a sketch. And I feel sometimes it's quite interesting 
to start off with the 3D and just build it from there. And I think, um, as, as I asked in the beginning of this video, I'm very curious to know, do you guys prefer to start off sketching in 3D or is it something you sketch by hand? I think everyone has their own methodology. And to be honest, it's really whatever works for you guys. I think that at the end, in my experience um, and, and, and in ArchViz and what we do, it's really whatever works. There is really no set type of, uh, it has to be this way or another. And it's what works for you, especially in these, um, in these personal projects. So once again, trying to build interest into the image. And I think one of the things that I noticed is that, um, okay, we've got this path leading down and it's kind of this path into the mountains, but these mountains, um, they weren't appearing in the background. So we kind of need to lead our eye and create that foreground, mid ground and background uh, interest in order to, to really lead our eye. And that said, I'm also kind of just uh, putting a little person there for scale, just really to understand the, the scale of the image and to kind of give that mountain lodge some understanding uh, of, of its size and its value. I've made this entry point as well, it's quite interesting. I wanted this entry point to be almost naturally carved out of the stone. And, um, and I thought, wow, if you know, putting the person there also gives it more of that entry type of way about it. The brushes I'm using are just simple brushes and I think some of them, I think it's Wojciech Fuss if I'm not in error. And we also have our pack linked below, uh, which you can grab. But um, yeah, I, I tend to experiment with other brushes, other concept art artist brushes. And I think Wojciechs are free, so you can grab those and they're awesome. And just really trying that out. I wasn't super satisfied about the sky. I did think that it needed a little something and I thought, of trying it out again this because I don't quite know where I'm going and I think that's the interest in creating something like this is kind of just freedom creating for the sake of it of just enjoying the process so seeing where it leads you and kind of using your brain to correct parts that you don't like and I think as you evolve and you do flip it and you turn it around and you try to see the image from a new perspective you also try and see how it looks in a different light and that gives you different ideas and I think that's one of the big points about um, concept drawing and really using the drawing to develop your piece. I see no problems in doing this for architecture you know some people say oh why are you using it and I'm like it's it's fun right that's why we become architects to create things and to enjoy that creative process and of course all the other things of course to improve life etc <laughs> and all of those things that we study in school but I think one of the big things that I really enjoy about this, and I'm not the best drawer ever, it's just the creative process of uh, enjoying it and seeing what we can create, looking at the forms. I think in this particular one, um, as you can see, the, the forms on the left start to become quite vicious in that they're repetitive and they don't look too well. Uh, I think at the time I was like, okay, let me just focus here on something else, adding a little more depth. But then on that left side, I start to, to understand, okay, this isn't really working. Then towards the end, I think I start to, to, to change it a little bit more. We sh I'm breaking up a little bit of the tangents here, as you can see, and these tangents are basic lines that are very close to each other and kind of start to blend. It doesn't happen so much um, in photography because photographers go around, they look around, they, they, they sit down, they look at different angles and then try to get rid of those tangents and really or emphasize them in other parts. But, but again, we're just trying to create something very simple here in which we are going to map paint and add a lot more interest. Right now, just kind of testing out the forms, testing out a few things maybe I could have done in 3D. I didn't really like that. And I think it's important as well to show you guys that um, you know the creative process is not perfect from the start. I think a lot of the stuff we do in the office, we revise and we redo. It's not like things just come out great 
at once you have to trial and error and you have to build things and i think this is one of the unforgotten things i think uh in in the world of art is you actually have to redo and retry things process is as much a part of the artist of, of creating something as it is the final output and um i think it tends to be forgotten we look at the final pieces and we think oh yeah that's that's great they they kind of just went all in one but no the process you know it starts with this great idea and then frustration which is a big part of it and then you're almost there and you're thinking oh god it's nearly there and then it's like that final push and then you you kind of feel oh no it's not what i wanted so i think the creative process is is really interesting in how it's set up and just the the mental frustrations it creates really so here i'm just kind of i think i have the sketch more or less in my mind i'm not thinking of changing anything drastically sometimes I do have this problem where I start to think, oh, I have to complicate this just for the sake of complicating it. I did add a little more of blue uh, just by setting the color uh, layer and adding that blue and really giving a little more of that depth perspective, not so much as it's from my reference, but it's something that I thought actually worked better. Um, and yeah, just once again, trying to break up the little forms and just trying to really add some uh, reflection in the back of those rocks just a little bit to just make it look like it's got a bit of form again i'm not the best sketcher in the world so i don't unfortunately spend as many hours as i should sketching um but yeah i, I think it's kind of pretty much there and i did add a few of those shapes on the left i thought hey wait a minute there's something interesting about this and it makes it look like it's growing a little bit more from the rocks It's kind of funny, I even tried some overlays and they didn't quite work out. And I thought, well, actually it's cool to show people that, you know, it doesn't always work out the ideas you have. And I think uh, that's the fluid process that I'm trying to show you guys in this video and really just enjoy a little bit and, um, and hopefully see how this develops into the map painting. It could be that this could change quite a little bit once we start to really get into that map painting and really exploring around. I think it's the looseness of it is also, uh, part of what I like because it can really go either way and you can create a lot of things and I think that's that's something I really like that looseness Okay, that's about all for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, just a little bit of insight I'm also kind of feeling more and more inspired the work and connecting with painting and getting back into it, it helps a lot. I feel more motivated. I also feel more creative. And I feel as the company grew and we got more and more, that this has been kind of nice to have this time to be able to create, to get back into things. And I'm also feeling more and more inspired each time. So yeah, thank you for being part of this journey. And I can't wait to show you part two, which is going to be um, more about the matte painting part and see how this kind of evolves. It isn't thought out as of yet. So let's see how it is and how it evolves. See you guys on the next one. Don't forget, subscribe below, hit the like and yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like 2D or go direct to 3D in terms of your sketching and just laying everything out?